of Nepalese around the world come together to celebrate the Shai. The spirit of unity, tradition and family fills the air. Dashai, known for its rich cultural significance, marks the victory of good over evil and is a time for blessings, feasting and family gatherings. Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. It's Vijaya Dashmi today, the day being marked by receiving Tika and Jamara from elders. Auspicious time for Tika at 11.36 a.m. Ways of celebrating Dashai changes with the change in social structure and demography. The new generation could, should shoulder the responsibility of preserving its essence. Israel attacks UN peacekeeping positions in Lebanon. Four UN peacekeepers injured, US President Biden says, urges to immediately stop the firing. And Nepal to face against Uzbekistan in the final of the Kava Under-20 Volleyball Championship. It's Vijaya Dashami, the main day of Dashai today. The auspicious time for Vijaya Dashami Tika this year is at 11.36 a.m. Hindu devotees across the country celebrate Dashai in commemoration of victory of truth over evil and the victory of divine forces over demonic forces. Elders offer Tika, Jamara and blessings to their youngers as, as a form of Goddess Durga's blessing. According to the Calendar Determination Committee, the auspicious time to receive Tika is at 11.36 a.m. today and can be received throughout the day. The one receiving Dashai Tika should face the east direction with the waxing moon facing the right side. The Newar community celebrates Moni Nakha on this day. The ways of celebrating Dashai has changed significantly in recent time. However, it is also the responsibility to preserve the originality of Dashai. Elderly people say in the past they witnessed open sky and bright environment from the start of Navratri while houses used to be decorated with clay, red clay. Beaten rice were prepared in a traditional way. Goats reared for many years consumed and the smell of the new clothes used to be cherished. Wood and bamboo used to be collected from every house to install a traditional swing called lingeping. In the past, the atmosphere during Dashai was different with the cleaning of houses, square and public resting places, and the arrival of new faces at homes. Likewise, reaching various places on foot for Durga Puja, temple visits, animal sacrifices, and to receive Tika and Jamara were very enjoyable. Even those who do not observe Dashai used to put aside their work and rejoice in the festive mood. Time has changed, technology has changed, and the Dashai atmosphere of that time is no more. Youth of each household are away from their families in search of education and employment. Along with the social structure, there has been a change in the essence of Dashai. In our public voice segment, we have asked how they are celebrating the shine. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Navratra garso ani falhar khar falhar khansa ani mai gawa mai ko puja haru garso. Sabi pariyar around unja wa sang asirvad lini abo sabi zana boy basi khus dukha sukha sabi share garni. Sabi sati vai haru basi ra ramai lo garera ani phula vado sai. जाने मिठो मिठो कुरा आरु खाने खाने टीका लाऊने आशीर्वाद लीने दोसा में लुआ किंसा दोसा में दिनम बिहाना दुर्गा माता को विसर्जन करेरा खुशी आली मा दोसे को महान उपलब्धि मा दोसे को रामरो संगत टीका लगाऊं सो आप वंदा ठुलो बड़ा मंचे और संगत टीका थाबेरो आशीर्वाद लीने और परिवार सभी जाना मिलेरा मिठो मसीनो खाएरा औ 
Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has found himself in a difficult situation in less than three months at the top executive post as ruling alliance partners and leaders within his own party have been pouring criticisms on him. The Premier has said he did not receive support from the international community, including Nepal's southern neighbour, India. CPN UML Chair K.P. Sharma Oli was appointed Prime Minister on July 15 after striking a seven-point agreement with Nepali Congress. In less than three months since then, the Prime Minister has found himself in hot waters. Alliance partner Nepali Congress, whose support plays the biggest role in his government, has been dissatisfied. The partnership was not as welcome since the very beginning by the Shekhar Koirala-led faction. General Secretary duo Gagan Thapa and Bishra Prakash Sharma that had been vocal with criticisms of Oli on public platforms are still not impressed with the government leadership. Ministers from the two major parties also lacked coordination during recent disasters that rocked the nation. सरकार लाई चाहिए हमें ले यो फुल टर्म सम्मा पूरा है रा संविधान में अपनी कई परिवर्तन हमें ले आऊं चाहूं यो द्वितीयाई को फुर्ती लाम ले लाखों है ना Premier Oli is also being increasingly criticized by his own party leaders and cadres who say the government had failed to do anything significant. अपनो मंत्रालय में केंद्रित भाई रा गर्नु पर ने कार्य संपादन रे दिनु पने जो रिजल्ट्स हैं नहीं रो रिजल्ट को हिसाब में कई तलमाती होने सकता, देश को समीक्षा बनी होला, तर मलाय लाख सा कह रहे हैं मनो, दल के तरफ टा असाय करने, दल का मंत्री ले असाय करने बने को रहा, तो किमार था, संभव बनी चाहिए ना, तो होदा बनी होदा ही ना, तो भार को बनी चाहिए ना। Prime Minister Oli is also being alleged of attempting to split other parties to strengthen his own. This comes from the preparations for an ordinance that would reportedly facilitate the split of CPN Unified Socialist. He's also understood to be taking in favor from Zanata Samazwadi Party, led by Ashok Rai, that has seven lawmakers at the lower house. The Premier has also been alleged of ignoring the works of seeking for a consensus for constitution amendment, which is one in the seven-point agreement CPN UML struck with Nepali Congress. Apart from feeling the lack of support from alliance partners, Prime Minister Oli has also been expressing grievance of not having the support from international community. He is yet to receive an official invitation from southern neighbour India, while two invitations have been sent to his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi. Political analysts say if the Premier fails to work on the shortcomings, it would provide opposition parties like CPN Maui Centre and Rashtriya Swatantra Party ample ground to change the current political equation. CPN UML has laid the foundation for their new building in Kirtipur being built on almost 11 Ropani land. The construction is expected to complete in one year time. Prime Minister and CPN UML Chair K.P. Sharma Oli and business person and owner of Bhatbatini supermarket chain Min Bahadur Gurung laid the foundation. The land was provided to the party by Gurung for free as it faced inundation issue at their office in Chasal Lalitpur. The party had to opt out of its own land in Balku as the land is surrounded by rivers on three sides. <laughs> तीन तीरा जी नदी रहेगा कारण लेकर दाखिली त्यो ठाउं में भवन निर्माण करना संभव है ना भवन निर्माण करने पर निभाती था थी कि न कि पार्टी रा डुबान का कारण लेकर दाखिली दूसरी पटक काम रो पार्टी कार्यले डुबान में पड़ दाखिली निकी थुलो छेती पति पे छेती और तो अकल पनी Business person Gurung said the new building will be resilient to earthquakes, flood, landslides and inundation. यो भवन कम पा उपनी रिच क्या मशीन दिखाओ ना नौ रेक्टर सम्म और तो साढे आठ रेक्टर सम्म को तो समस्या में ताला धान्य करी पानी को जून से ही था इसलिए बनी जिस रोई को रल दे घेरा ये एकदम ही अत्याधुनिक घेरी 
साथी दे देरे हम सनक रा सुंदर भवन बनाई दिन सु दिने सों अन्य माँ पति के पति का तजार जायर कर सों रा यू भवन और को साल को दासे अटस तमन दिन जात में जा since the 2015 earthquake damaged their building in Balku, CPNUML has shifted their office to three places in nine years. Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question, what do you think of a business person providing 10 Ropani land to CPNUML for its headquarters? The options are A, transaction for power and interest, B, wrong practice, and C, it's a support. Voting is on. Type any WS, select your option A, B, or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for international update. U.S. President Joe Biden has said he's absolutely positively urging Israel to stop firing at UN peacekeepers during its conflict with Hezbollah in Lebanon following two incidents in 48 hours. The Israel Defense Forces said its troops were responsible for the incident in which two Sri Lankan soldiers for the UN interim force in Lebanon were injured. IDF soldiers operating around the Anfil base in Nakora identified a threat and opened fire, the Israeli army said, adding the incident would be investigated at the highest levels. On Thursday, Anfil's two Indonesian soldiers were injured, falling from an observation tower after an Israeli tank fired towards it. The leaders for France, Italy and Spain issued a joint statement condemning Israel's actions, saying they were unjustifiable and should immediately come to an end. Sri Lanka's foreign ministry said it strongly condemned the IDF attack, which injured two of its soldiers. The head of UN peacekeeping said there was reason to believe some firing on UN positions in southern Lebanon had been direct though he did not ascribe responsibility for the incidents. As Israel's invasion of southern Lebanon continues, the IDF and the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah continue to fire missiles and rockets across the Israel-Lebanon border. The IDF said it had detected about 100 rockets crossing into northern Israel from Lebanon yesterday. Meanwhile, the Lebanese Ministry of Health said three people, including a two-year-old girl, were killed in an Israeli raid on the city of Sedon in southern Lebanon. The Lebanese army said that two Lebanese soldiers were killed in southern Lebanon. Boeing will cut 17,000 jobs, delay first deliveries of its 777X jet by a year and record $5 billion in losses in the third quarter as the U.S. plane maker continues to spiral during a month-long strike. CEO Kelly Ortberg said in a message to employees that Boeing must shrink its workforce to align with their financial reality after an ongoing strike by 33,000 U.S. West Coast workers stopped production of its 737 MAX, 767 and 777 jets. Over the coming months, Boeing is planning to reduce the size of the total workforce by roughly 10%. These reductions will include executives, managers and employees. Boeing shares fell 2.12% in after-market trading. The sweeping changes are a big move by Ortberg, who arrived in August at the helm of the beleaguered plane maker, promising to reset relations with the union and its employees. Nepal will play against Uzbekistan in the title decider of Kava Under-20 Men's Volleyball Championship today. The final match will begin at 3.15 p.m. in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Nepal came close to winning the trophy after defeating Turkmenistan 3-0 in straight sets in their last match of the league stage. Under the captaincy of Arjun Nepali, Nepal defeated Turkmenistan in a must-win match. Nepal has reached the final after being second in the league with 10 points in five games. Uzbekistan remained undefeated and went on to win the league round. Uzbekistan scored 14 points in five games. 
Ramesh Casey's team performed well throughout the tournament and will enter the court with their eyes on the title. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Happy Vijaya Dashami.